<laughs> New information revealing local police first noticed the gunman who tried to assassinate former President Trump more than an hour and a half before the attack. Connor Hansen has those details tonight. More than two weeks after 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks tried to assassinate former President Donald Trump, new details are emerging about what led up to the shooting. Text messages obtained from local police snipers by Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley show one of the officers noticed Crooks at a nearby picnic table just before 4.30 in the afternoon. An hour later, another officer sends a picture of Crooks in a group text saying he was using a rangefinder pointed at the stage where Trump was set to speak. He was looking up and down the building and just wandering around. It just seemed out of place. Local officers mentioned letting Secret Service know and calling it in to their command. Was to get a face to face briefing with the Secret Service snipers um, whenever they arrived, and that never happened. Just after 6 p.m., the gunman was able to fire several shots minutes into Trump's speech. The FBI is still digging into the gunman's past, trying to figure out a motive. Our investigation has revealed he also made searches related to power plants, mass shooting events, information on improvised explosive devices, and the attempted assassination of the Slovakian Prime Minister earlier this year. As a standard part of its investigation, the FBI confirmed it will interview the former president since he was a victim of the crime. The FBI also revealed the gunman visited the site of the rally just a few days after the location was announced and flew a drone by it just a couple of hours before Trump took the stage. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 13 News.